Hello everyone, my name is Doug and today I'm going to be showing you how to build a 2x2 flush piston door and a 2x2 flush trap door for Minecraft Bedrock. We're going to start off by placing a few blocks just like this. just going to be filling in the front side of the door so that none of the redstone is visible as this is intended to be some sort of hidden cave base where you can press a button on the side and it will open. But now we're going to be placing these pistons in a, in a sort of way that, um, so you've got 2x2 uh, two two pistons which are pushing out uh, two pistons and also two um, blocks of your choice which you want to blend in with the front side. And so the 2x2 two two pistons uh, push out the other blocks and then the two pistons behind the blocks will then push out the rest of the blocks. So it's a nice flush piston door, unlike most 2x2 two two doors where you have to have it at some kind of weird position where it will, will make it quite obvious that there's actually a uh, piston door there. Now we're just going to have some repeaters going into some blocks with uh, four ticks. And obviously most of this will just be repeated on both sides. Just some more filling in the front. You probably won't have to do this because all the train will already be there for you. up to the top which is going to be powering the two upper pistons which get pushed out. You'll, you'll understand, if you don't understand it now then you'll understand and I'll show you later. So now pretty much the whole skeleton of this piston door is completed, now we just have to fill in the redstone. Make sure that both the upper and lower pistons that get powered are both on two ticks. And now we are practically done, all we have to do is just run a redstone line in with something to power it. So either a T-flip flop with a button or a lever. And I'll show you how to do both in this video. As you can see I just completely missed uh, one entire side of the piston door, um, but it's, it's not a big problem, I'll just relink it.
Now what I did there is I just adjusted the uh, ticks on the two um, repeaters that were going in to three each because I was adding an extra repeater to keep the redstone line going. So one repeater is one tick, so I just have to subtract uh, one tick from each of the repeaters in order for this door to work. So there you go, now your piston door is done, but if you want to use a T-flip flop, which I would definitely advise if you're going for a hidden cave base because you can use a stone button on a stone surface and your button will be practically invisible. For this T-flip flop, you're just going to need some droppers, hoppers, a bit of redstone and a button. So it's not really that complicated. I've actually decided to build this a bit further out just so that you can see, see it better. Except I almost forgot you actually need an item to put inside of the uh, dropper as it goes around because we're going to be using a comparator to actually detect when the item is in one of the uh, droppers. So I like to use a wooden shovel because it's cheap and it also provides a redstone output of two. I actually broke the piston door when I was uh, moving that one um, one stone uh, block, so I'm going to have to fix that. There you go, your flush 2x2 piston door is now complete. Moving on, I'm now going to be showing you how to do a flush 2x2 piston trap door. Just like this one. So like all of Minecraft, we're going to start off by placing a few blocks. And then a similar sticky piston formation that we had, that we saw in the last flush piston door. Same deal as before, repeaters on 4 ticks, repeaters on 2 ticks. And as odd as this may seem, you're now practically done. All that needs to be done now is Maybe adding the T flip flop with stone button so that it's hard to see, and also um, adding the redstone lines just to go through and connect everything. So I might speed up this segment.
And there you go, your flush 2x2 piston trapdoor is now completed. I'm just going to float it a bit, uh, just so that you can see what it would look like if it was in some sort of cave. Also, I'm still relatively new to redstone, so if you've got any tips on how I could compact any of these, uh, then I'd be happy to hear them in the comments. But with all that said and done, thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you're new, we will have more videos coming out soon. And goodbye.